So hello all. So today let's discuss about the configuration of agentless desktop single sign-on. And uh, to perform this, the prerequisites are like you must have your AD integrated with your Okta tenant. And after that integration is done, head to head on to your AD and choose the service account which you have chosen for that. And in that account properties, as we know, DSSO supports this AES encryption. So you have to enable that AES encryption one here. So here we can see this account supports uh, Kerberos AES 128 and AES 256. You have to uh, enable this checkbox and you have to click OK. And after that, now we have to set SPN for this account. So to set that SPM, now let's head towards our command prompt and open this, open it as an administrator. And now the command to set the SPN is like this. Set SPN at the rate, I mean, to our organization dot doctor or dot doctor preview or something. And this is the service account name which we have chosen. So this is my organization URL. I have entered the Kerberos and this is the service account which I have chosen for this configuration. So I will simply copy this. And I will paste this here. And here we can see that yes, it's completely it's it's it was successful and the object is updated now and registering was done. So after this, now let's head on towards the Okta tenant security, delegated authentication, and in delegated authentication, we have to enable this agentless desktop single sign-on. And we have to set the mode to on, and we have to choose our Active Directory instance, and this is my instance. So, I have to enable this one and I have to give the uh, service account credentials like the username and the password which I have used and I'll validate it and I'll click save. So as soon as we do this and click the save button here. So there would be a new routing rule of this agentless DSS so automatically generated or populated. So let's head towards the identity providers. Routing rules. So here we can see that there is a routing rule generated. Before that, let's go to the networks and create a network zone of our VPs, uh, VMs IP. So basically my VMs IP and my same. So I'll add this IP and I remove this address. This is and as the zone name, I'll save this one. So here we can see this is our IP agentless DSSO. So now let's head towards the routing rules. So in the routing rules, edit this routing group, and if the user's IP is in zone and the zone agentless DSSO1 then the use this as the identity provider which is nothing but agentless DSSO. So I'll update the rule. I that I do that to make the rule because if it works only if it's activated. So now the rule is activated. So now we have to get the users. I mean we have to run an import and we have to get the users from Active Directory to Okta. So not in people that would be in directory integrations. So this is my Active Directory. And I, I have already have an import and these are my users. So now let's do the check with this users. So now Active Directory. And then switch user.
and the username is DSS. So check at the real. So now we can see that the user is able to log in successfully. Now we have to head towards the control panel. And in the network and internet, in the internet options, and in the security, local internet, and in the site, we have to add our uh, our tenant URL with the Kerberos one, which I have already added here. You can see this here. I have added this with the help of the Kerberos. So close. Okay, now close this. So here you can see that without asking the credentials to my Okta, I was being able to sign in into this. So now let's check it with the Google Chrome tool. So see, I'm opening Google Chrome here. There was no session there before. And I would enter my Okta tenant URL here you can see. So here you can see I was being able to log in directly without asking any credentials. So this is how basically that agent is DSSO works.